Welcome back to Australia by Design. This project obviously delivers a great customer benefit, but this has very much been a trial and error approach to design, which is a great starting point. Where design's really helped is actually using prototyping to actually understand the problem and get to a solution. Who doesn't love their morning coffee? But what if I told you that 40% of this delicious aroma disappears during the brewing process? Well, that's all about to change due to a leading Australian innovation using the magic in these golden balls. Sasha Stetchit is Mr. Coffee. He is the world leading barista from 2015, the global champion and he's changing the world of coffee one bean at a time. Coffee is so magical and it's so special and it captures me on a daily basis to try to understand it and more understand it. Yes, we taste better coffees, but I also can look back and see, well, there's so much more we can learn. Sasha is a world leader. He's a world booster champion, but he's also pioneered new innovations on the farm level. Sasha and I spent months tasting espressos for the World Barista Championships in Milan, where I competed. We were testing a huge number of different variables to improve coffee flavor. Well, we're gonna start brewing this coffee. Yep. Professor Kahan, you are an internationally renowned expert on coffee. Is your mind blown by what Sasha and the team have come up with? You know, working with Sasha is really helping us to translate science into application. It is a strong and the real effect that you have more intensity in terms of volatile compounds once we cool the coffee. Could you just explain to me, please, what an aroma volatile is? When we extract coffee, that, that's the vapor. Uh, so we, there's a, hundreds and hundreds of different aroma volatile compounds but these aroma volatiles are contributing to give us the flavor of the coffee. We were approached by Hugh Kelly and Sasha uh, to basically yeah, take this idea they had, but try and turn it into yeah, a commercial product. Yeah, we uh, explored a whole bunch of shapes around the idea of pouring coffee over the perfect you know, surface area and we 3D printed number of ideas and options and the simple sphere ended up showing us that it covered and clung onto the surface of the coffee um, better than any other shape. Let's check this thing out in the real world. Danil, the designers and the inventor are out of earshot. Yeah. Tell me what you really think about making these. Uh, I feel like it's a cool innovation, like it's changed the game. And what are customers saying about the coffee? They love it. They can tell the difference between whenever I don't use it and when I use it because it gives a different mouthfeel different flavors and stuff, yes. so it's really good. Now it's the moment of truth. Can I taste the difference between a Paragon brewed coffee and a standard coffee? All right, we're gonna do blind tasting. Okay. So close your eyes. All right, Sasha. Please enjoy coffee number one. Thank you. Mm, that's a good coffee. Okay. Okay. All right, coffee number two. That's a really nice coffee too. But I'm gonna to say I prefer this coffee here. That is Paragon. That's a Paragon <laughs> coffee. 